Hello, Ryan Fritz here with Science Cardio, talking to you about exercising and joint mechanics or biomechanics. Uh, talking about torque today. So, um, basically, torque has to do with the distance away from an axis. So, if I hold my arm out here, this is the axis point, and then if I put load here, so that is uh, called inch pounds of torque. But basically, the distance is called a moment arm. So the further the distance goes away, the more torque goes up. So if I have a tum if I have a 10 pound dumbbell and I do a deltoid fly, I'm going to have basically 24 inches for distance from that weight to my joint. So that's going to create 240 inch pounds of torque. If I start to fatigue or bring that in and bend my elbows, I will decrease that. Maybe I'm doing 12 inches from the mass or weight to the joint. That turns into 10 times 12 is 120 inch pounds of torque. If I get real close, we drop that off even more. So if you'll see people in the gym, they'll start up here and then as they get fatigued, they start kind of cheating and bringing it in. Their body is mechanically changing or altering that to make the torque a lot less, make the resistance or weight a lot less. So this is a great um, principle to understand and know if you have joint injuries or pain. You can modify an exercise to decrease the amount of load that's in the joint. Uh, an example I always use, and this is uh, any exercise, any joint movement, it could be a leg lift, could be a deadlift. I'm using kind of a deltoid or lateral raise as an example. Uh, if you, you know, do 100 pounds, this is 1,200 pounds of inch torque in that shoulder, 600 pounds of inch torque, or 2,400 pounds of inch torque. So it drastically goes up, um, you know, a lot of pressure, but this is why we have injuries doing heavy lifting. So the idea is just to notice and keep it in your toolbox or your back pocket. If you have a tweak or something going on, you might be able to shorten the lever or change that kind of mass from the joint axis to decrease the amount of load. So good food for thought.